representing the yellow team. My name is Daniel. I'm speaking for Corey Creswell, as well as Clinton Clayton. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the background of our system and show you some results that we found from experimentation and then conclude with uh, the presentation of our K, tau, and T0 values. Uh, our system is made to mimic a system in Dunlap, Tennessee that is a spray booth for engine components. So what they do is they spray it, the spray paint, and in these booths and have a higher pressure in there. To do that, they have a blower that's controlled by a feedback loop and uh, two dampers. The blower blows into three different pressure pressure booths, and each one of these is filtered before exhausted to the atmosphere. The system can be described by a transfer function with the input variable uh, of motor power in percentage, and the output variable of booth pressure in centimeters of water. We ran countless experiments to uh, define a steady state operating curve from 0 to 20, 20 to 35, and 35 to 50 centimeters of uh, water. There were three different regions in there. We named them bottom, middle, top, and you can see them there. Uh, input power plotted against output pressure. <clears throat> we then analyzed the step response and uh, using the averages of the steady state uh, system before and after the step, we were able to find uh, delta C and uh, determine our variables for our transfer function. We took these for each of the three um, ranges in our steady state operating curve and we're able to find our K gain, gain values which are plotted here for our lower and upper and, uh, steps for the lower range, the middle range, and the upper range. So we had a step up and a step down, and these are the K values for each of those. The tau values are here, and you can see the error bars associated with them. And our T0 values are here. Um, our system, in every case, was able to reach steady state in less than one-fourth of a second. That concludes our presentation.